Croatia's foreign minister has been accused of highly inappropriate behavior after trying to kiss his German counterpart at an EU summit. Gordon Gligretman shook hands with Annalena Baerbock and then leaned in to plant a kiss on her cheek during a photo shoot at a ministerial meeting in Berlin on Thursday. Miss Baerbock appeared to be embarrassed and promptly turned away, after which the pair laughed nervously in front of the cameras. Mr. Gligretman acknowledged that the gesture may have been clumsy, but described his greeting of Miss Baerbock as a warm, human approach to a colleague. I don't know what the problem was. We always greet each other warmly, he said. The attempted kiss was maybe an awkward moment, the 65-year-old minister said, offering an apology to whoever took it that way. Miss Baerbock has yet to comment on the incident, but sources close to the German official played it down as simply an attempt by Mr. Glickercute. Redmond to quickly greet his opposite number. His flight had been delayed and so he had not had a chance to say hello to Miss Baerbock at the summit until the photo shoot, German tabloid Bild quoted the sources as saying. Asked about the incident at a press conference in Baku, Azerbaijan, on Saturday evening, the German foreign minister said flatly, we didn't talk about kissing today. But German media was quick to brand the incident a cuss attack or kiss attack. Footage of the encounter was shared widely online, where Mr. Gulli Kretman's behavior provoked an immediate backlash. Rhoda Boric, a prominent Croatian women's rights activist, said the attempted kiss was highly inappropriate. Mr. Gulli Kretman was also criticized by Jadrenka Koza, a former prime minister of Croatia, who wrote on social media, violent kissing of women is also called violence is it not? While greeting people with kisses is relatively common in some European countries such as France and Italy, in Croatia people tend to be more reserved. A guide to etiquette for travellers visiting the country advises when meeting someone for the first time. People usually shake hands. Greetings with kisses, one on each cheek, are usually reserved for family or very close friends. The incident has drawn comparisons with Luis Rubio's. The president of the Spanish Football Federation, kissing women's player Jenny Hermoso on the lips following Spain's 1-0 victory over England in the World Cup finals in August. Mr. Rubio's dismissed suggestions that the gesture was inappropriate, saying it was a kiss between two friends celebrating something. But Irene Montero, the Minister for Equality in Spain's caretaker government described it as a form of sexual violence. In October, Mr. Rubios was banned from all football-related activities for three years, following a FIFA disciplinary committee investigation into his conduct. Ms. Hermoso said in a statement released in August that the incident had left her feeling vulnerable and a victim of aggression. Describing the case as sexist and without any type of consent on my part. The incident blew up into a sexism storm that attracted global headlines, overshadowing the Spanish women team's sporting triumph in Australia. The case echoed the hashtag MeToo movements exposing of abuses by powerful men around the globe in recent years. Mr. Rubios is currently under investigation by Spain's High Court for alleged sexual assault and coercion following a criminal complaint by Ms. Hermoso.